what is going on my peeps i don't know look <laughs> it's funny i could say i've always wanted to say that on a video but i've probably said it before at some point in my life uh because that's what i would say in person because i'm goofy like that sometimes too all right so today i had two amazing things happen for me and it made me think about you and i wanted to share this story or these these two little mini stories so today earlier we were out to eat and um, we had ate and I was still a little hungry, so I ordered extra. And in the bag, when I picked it up, there was a free cookie. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, they get gifted me a cookie. And then Jay said, oh, I, that never happens to me. And I'm like, shoot, it always happens to me. Like, I always get stuff like that. And then I came to Starbucks later in the day to work on some things. And I go to Starbucks and I'm like, all right, I'm going to get a drink. And I was like, all right, let me get a train to, you know, I got an, an acai refresher thing. And she was like, oh, there's a 50% off coupon on your account. And I'm like, oh, really? Where'd that come from? She said, oh, well, it's this thing we're doing on the app on Tuesdays. Today's the last day, 50% coupon. I had just looked at my app because I was curious how many stars and what was on there because I don't go to Starbucks very often. And I'm like, oh, cool. So you know how Starbucks is a little overpriced for what it is. So I got like this drink for like three bucks or 250 or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. Just made my day. And the reason I share those stories with you is because like I said, these kind of things happen to me all the time. Like I pull up and I have a parking spot. I get, you know, free little gifts and free food and I people gift me things or I get a bonus this or I get a, a, a discount here. Like I get that kind of stuff all the time, all the time. And I've come to just expect it, but without expecting it. And so what I mean by that is like without attachment, like I don't demand it but I also know and expect that that kind of thing is going to happen to me. Like it's very normal and it's just something that I've manifested essentially. And so here's the point is that I want to encourage you to consider a couple of things. Um, thing number one, like I said, Jay, I love you. But you know, when he said that kind of thing never happens to me, well, I don't know. I mean, that could be part of it. Like if you say that kind of thing never happens to me, well, I don't know. That's something to explore. And I love you, Jay, and I'm not calling you out, but it's just like an example of how we say that because there's places in my life where I don't manifest certain things because I don't expect it or that doesn't happen to me. Right? So it's, it's shifting and applying these things into all and any aspect of our life and because this has just become so normal, it's just what happens and continues to happen for me. Um, so then I guess the thing is, is like, how do you apply it to other aspects of your life? Well, the first thing would be a lot of the stuff that I've been sharing in this series. You know, you pay attention to the words that you're saying. And also a concept that I talk about frequently is the idea of like holding on. Um, like if you play softball or baseball or are familiar with the sport, if you grip the bat really, really, really tight and you swing as hard as you can to try to hit the shit out of the ball, it's likely you're going to swing a miss and or pop it up to the pitcher or the catcher, which especially in slow pitch softball is extremely embarrassing to pop up a slow pitch softball to the pitcher, you know, like, or the infield or the catcher or whatever. Like, it's super embarrassing. Um, but the thing is, is because you're holding on so tight and you're trying so hard to get that outcome of hitting the ball out of the park versus if you relax and you hold a lighter grip on the bat, you're likely to hit it harder and further and, you know, get a base hit. And so that is important for us to remember in life because where we're showing up and we're holding on too tight, we're wanting something so bad, it's good for us to notice that and release. And look, I get it. I know that this can be challenging. It is a practice. It is a practice. And for me, as I've practiced releasing and letting go of different things, it's just noticing where that keeps showing up. And then uh, like trying to release the grip or trying to look at it differently or practicing different things. You know, there's so many different, for me, my process has been layered in many different things because it's been evaluating my beliefs. It's been evaluating the words that I'm saying. It's been evaluating my own self-confidence. It's been looking into my routines and what things are helping support me. And that's why all this stuff in this series has been sharing all these little pieces of the puzzle that can help you to unlock something. Now, 
what has happened worked for me or worked for some of our clients may not work for you because maybe it's a different unfolding, right? So there's there's a level of leaning in and trust and having an open mind and you know being open for someone to point out where things aren't working for you. Um, and what I mean by that is like reflecting things back, like in a coaching container, it's about reflecting things back to whoever I'm working with to be able to help them realize where maybe things are out of alignment. Cause you may say you want this, but your actions are over here. So like I said, Oh, I want free stuff in my life all the time. Yet, you know, I'm super hyper about expecting a discount and I'm mad when I don't get it. Like, for example, that's like an example. Um, I don't, I expect, so I said, it's like a fine line. Like I expect these things to happen at the same time. I'm not holding on too tight. So I, I definitely hope that this has helped spark something in you to just think about where you can start playing and where you can start to manifest things. And I know that can be a fluffy word for some people, but it is really powerful. There's a lot of things that you can do. Um, some of the stuff I've been playing with myself and I'm not quite ready to like teach these things, but maybe this will spark you to look into some stuff. And this is me sharing a little bit more of my um, side, like I did on one of the days where I was sharing my uniqueness. So some of the things I'm looking into is like quantum jumping and, um, and uh, timeline jumping and where time is irrelevant and how there's a lot of different, you know, layers of consciousness and the ways we can think and the different energies we can tap into. So those are some of the things I'm exploring because I really am leaning into and practicing how can I step into and trust that anything and everything is possible beyond just that being the words, like really embodying that and uh, leaning into like things that are beyond what society says they are. I, I hope that makes sense. I know that's kind of intangible, but there's like a little peek into some of the things that I've been working on myself. And I look forward to seeing you on the next day. We only have a few more days left of this 30 day inspirational message. And then we will be on to other things that we'll be sharing with you. All right. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.